In this lesson, we will cover property management template. Create Yes, create In the previous video, I have covered Excel data source how to import the Excel data into our canvas app and use it and this particular demo is using the same concept suites imported from Excel We'll save the app. Run. We'll take one suite. It's available. We will reserve it under my name. Yes, reserve confirmed. Now note collections, tenant collect. Sorry, sweet collect. Which one is it? This is tenant collection. Let's see what's the collection name. This gallery. Tenant collect. Okay, there is another suite. <coughs> Okay, we will not see that at the moment, but the important thing to note here <clears throat> is if I close the app, I say leave, I come back, oh, there is some delay in the, uh, when you create an app, there is some delay before it shows up here. So rather than wasting our time, we will create another one. What I wanted to show is that the property management data is not stored back to Excel. So the data is not stored back to Excel. So if I try to book this one one, there's some name John. Oh, oh. A A A at B B B dot com. Countries USA, U State, Maryland, City, Baltimore, or Rockville. I have lived there for about a year, Rockville. 
the research triangle part. I don't know if the zip, if the zip is right, but you know this is from New York. <laughs> okay, now the question is. <coughs> This is not stored in database. We come here, uh, edit uh, suite screen, uh, not here, suite details screen. Mm. This here takes you to navigate suite details screen. Okay, this here. There are two buttons here. Oh, this is no longer. You have to run it. That suite is no longer available. So the button is gone. This one here. Now it will be seen. Reserve. <coughs> Navigate takes you to the reserve screen and this reserve button it updates the collection not the data source so in the app on start or here visible on visible one second let me see yeah also it's screen on visible it's assigned the suites and suites is the data source connected to Excel so it is taking all the information in the tenant collect so when it's trying to save it the reserve screen the reserve button is updating the collection and not the suites so if you try to put sus suites is the data source here it gives the error message the data source is either read only so that's what i was showing that this Excel connection is read only and we cannot uh, do any modification. That's why he stored everything in the collection and is making change to the collection and not on the Excel. So that's what this is about. So then we go back with the filter <coughs> available occupied all. These are the uh, uh, available and occupied in all suites. So there is a contact screen. You know, you can edit once again when you save the contact here. I don't think it would be saving it to the uh, Suites we're saving to the tenant collection. It's tenant collection. If we try to put suites here, it will give us error. So nothing is saved back to the data source. Everything goes into the collection. So the suites detail. This is the detail about the suite. The edit screen. Again, once again, this will not have any effect. Blah. And if we save it back sweet hundred the blah is there but it's not saved to the uh, back to the database edit uh, sweet screen the save it's once again it is uh, tenant going to the tenant collect and not on the suites the excel data source so this is all about the property management and these are the you know we can use the update it on if we have the proper data source we can um, make the changes on the data source but it is uh, making changes to the collection so 
our collection we can see here tenant collect this is the tenant collection <coughs> And that's all about this.